Hello, and welcome to number 38 of our Lent Reflections and Thursday of Holy Week. It is important to remember in the journey of Christ that he paused on many occasions to deliver teaching, to deliver parables, to continue his work all the way to the end. But one of the final things that Jesus Christ did was to pray, to pray for us. And in John's gospel, that prayer for his disciples, for us who would follow, is contained. And so today, as we prepare for Good Friday, all I want to do is share with you that prayer. It's contained within John chapter 17. And it says this. After had Jesus had said this, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now, this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before we began. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. I will may remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. No one has been lost except the one doomed to destruction so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now. But I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me, and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me, and I've loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you and they know 
that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Our God and Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour, and the Holy Spirit who gives us life three in one and one in three. Thank you that on the eve of your death, you prayed for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen.